Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel All About BI. Uh, in this session, I'm going to take you through schema drift and possible use cases. Okay, you all might be uh, knowing the basics of schema drift. Today, we are going to see with all possible use cases of schema drift in data factory. Right. So, what we are trying to cover is schema drift. Right. So, what is schema basically? Schema is synonymous to structure. Structure of a file, structure of a table, structure of a data store. Okay, so uh, when there is a situation like our uh, data store will keep changing its structure from time to time. For example, today if I am loading a file with twelve columns and tomorrow I am going to load more columns than that, uh, then my data flow should be able to handle that natively without touching the pack pipeline. Uh, we should be able to make the new columns uh, loaded. To the sink that is what we call uh, uh, schema okay schema drift is nothing but any change happening to the uh, structure of the uh, file that we have already set up in the data flow for example today i am having a data flow which points to a, a csv file with 12 columns and tomorrow if my um, source file brings more columns my data flow should be able to uh, manage those additional columns natively without changes to the pipeline right to the source to the sink to the in between transformations if any it should be able to be uh, handled natively by itself okay that is uh, what we call schema drift uh, data flow provides this facility with uh, uh, click of a property right so uh, there are various use cases that i have prepared so first two use cases uh, talk about importing schema of the underlying source file and then enabling and disabling the schema address property right so the first two options relate to importing schema or projection of the underlying file and second uh, uh, last two proper last two use cases talk about without uh, importing schema okay so we will go through one by one so first is we will import schema and then we will enable drift so what it will uh, how it will work is while we are importing schema in our example initially there will be 12 columns okay so when we enable schema drift what will happen in future if there are more columns coming up means all the new columns will be uh, loaded to the sync uh, automatically okay uh, here we should note few things all right so the sync in our case is going to be an azure sql table which we will create automatically in uh, runtime okay initially when we load 12 columns uh, table also will be created with 12 columns right so how, however my source file is my sync will be matched with the source file and it will be created on the fly so this is during first run so we will uh, do couple of demos here in the run one okay table will not be there in the sync it has to be dynamically created with 12 columns right on the second run what we will do we will be adding more columns and then we will see how our data flow is going to work uh, even if we haven't uh, imported the changes of schema okay for example uh, during run one number of columns in my source would be um, telling 12 okay and in my second run my file would have brought extra columns but my data flow will still say 12 columns only because we are not going to touch the data flow on the other hand what we are going to do we are going to simply add a uh, columns in the sync table okay so in run to add or alter table to hold values for additional columns this is what we are going to see okay these two are the first set of demos that we are going to see all right so we will import schema we will enable the schema drift new columns will be passing through automatically okay uh, provided if you have created new columns in the sync the table should have those columns right in order to receive the values for those columns so i'm just uh, talking about that in case if your uh, uh, sync is a file then this step will not be required okay this is for table based sync okay so this is the first uh, use case that we are going to see and uh, one more thing we need to note here is mapping will be auto mapping okay we are not going to do apple by apple match apple to apple match here 
uh, none of the source columns is going to be mapped with the sink um, uh, by its name okay or i mean um, uh, physically i'm telling we are not going to manually map any column with any column in between source and sink it's going to be purely automatic so going to the file this is the file that i'm trying to load we will i i think there are 12 columns here okay so let us see i will have a data flow i will add source and sync freshly okay so uh, in this case i said we are going to import schema and enable drift right so i am going to open the data set to see if i am able to preview the file and schema is coming up here all right schema is coming so i'll go back to the data flow and i'll uh, just click on the settings and then we'll make sure allow schema drift is enabled by default it will be enabled unless and until you are going to disable it it will be uh, by default it enabled okay so this is case one importing schema and enabling drift if you are importing schema you have the option to disable this option okay so uh, when we will have to disable it whenever uh, you know that mm, the structure of your source file is not going to change any time it's going to be strictly the same uh, like when, when when you are developing the pipeline right how much ever columns are there in future also it will not change if you know that then you can come here and you can disable this option so that even if your source file is going to bring new columns those will not be flowing through the sink okay so that is uh, one heads up so i'm just closing this guy and then adding a sink once i add a sink a uh, number of columns will get refreshed to 12 here okay in the sink i'm going to uh, point to a azure sql table and then i will call this table as schema drift 2 okay so this table will be created automatically during the first run for that we have to make sure we are going to settings and then um, recreate trade table okay if there is no table by the name that we are mentioning in the data set it will be created uh, if it is already there it will recreate okay in our case let it create for the first time and during the second demo i will mark it to none i will change the option to none okay because i don't want to keep recreating the table but in the first run i just want to create it automatically so i'm just create selecting this option and then i'm closing this so if i am running my pipeline now it will be loading all the four uh, records to the table nicely okay so i'm just uh, debugging uh, data flow seems to have succeeded so i'll just go to the database and see how the data has flown through I'm just retyping the password. <coughs> so select star from schema drift to this was our table. We should be seeing 12 columns and 4 records. Okay, so this is all good till now. What we are going to do now, uh, we are going to modify this source file. We are going to add one more column called loaded by okay so uh, it will be all about bi in this case i'll just copy this fellow i'm just going to rerun with the same set of records so let it uh, replicate uh, we are not going to see duplicates and all i mean we, we are not worried about duplicates and all so i'm just adding a new column here okay in order for me to capture the new column and its values i have to make sure i'm adding the new column in the table as well Mm, how however it is in the source file i have to add it in the table as well right uh, as you can see here there are a couple of date columns which are not having proper values that i'll uh, touch upon little later if time permits i'll tell why this is not getting loaded now uh, we have come here to alter the table if i'm not wrong so alter table table name add loaded by it can be a varchar of uh, 50 column so now 
what we are doing we are just modifying the sync um, similar to the source file changes okay only if we do this the changes to the file will be flowing till the sync okay so i am not going to touch my pipeline now uh, you can note that here okay so now uh, why is it still running i am not going to touch the pipeline i am just going to click on debug so whatever changes we have uh, included in the file it's going to be loaded to the table as well so let us wait for the um, data flow to complete execution data flow seems to have uh, executed successfully so now when we go back to the table and uh, see the records right there should be eight records uh, and at the end i should also be seeing the new uh, column being loaded so it's still not done it seems Let, let's give few more seconds to this so now there are totally uh, eight records coming up okay uh, in the initial load we had uh, we had not got this loaded by column so uh, those four records are showing null for loaded by column and last four records are during the second run wherein we introduced a new column called uh, loaded by uh, with the value all about ba right so this is uh, how schema drift works natively for column addition inclusions okay what about column removal so if i go back to the same file and if i remove any existing column will it also be working yes it will also work so for example probably i can cut off this last column okay so i'm just taking this off total profit so my upstream system has decided not to send this total profit anymore so they are cutting this off from their end from our end what we need to do we need to do nothing okay if you want you can drop the column uh, total profit from your table otherwise you can leave it as such okay if you are not uh, going to be you are not going to be affected anyway so uh, but if you want to make keep the table clean probably you will have to alter the table and remove that column from the table otherwise you don't have to do anything i am just uh, debugging the pipeline again for the third time now after it finishes if we do select star there should be 12 records uh, in which you will not be seeing the total profit column value okay uh, because data flow understands that there is no total profit column from source uh, so it will not map it to the sync and it will not throw any error as well so this is what schema drift is all about column additions column um, exclusions everything is handled natively without any error without throwing any error right and without we having to touch the pipeline ourselves so let us wait i think this might have been done okay see here this is these four records are from run 3 right so here we are not seeing total profit column value so this is for the first use case wherein we imported schema and enabled the schema drift okay so second option is to import schema and disable the drift what will happen if we disable the drift it will not capture the changes and it will not uh, uh, understand the changes okay it will only work for the columns that we have uh, used while design if you have uh, set up your data flow for 12 columns it will keep on working for those 12 columns only okay uh, even if you remove the pipeline is not going to throw any error okay for example just like how we remove total profit column right if we remove uh, some other column um, while disabling drift it is not going to throw any error pipeline will still succeed so what do i mean by that is i'm going to the data flow and then i'm disabling the drift uh, I will not allow schema drift in the source as well as sync. Okay, I will disable this. And um, now my pipeline is in, uh, built for 12 columns, right? So I will go to my um, source and I will just delete the last column. For, com for comfort, I am just deleting the last column. Otherwise, I have to manipulate a lot. So I am just taking off the last column. We have disabled schema drift if you have noticed right so what will happen in this case i'm not going to touch the pipeline anymore 
uh, after I have disabled the schema drift I am just running my pipeline now ok so total price I think we have deleted it uh, I will just check that out total cost total cost column is what we removed now from the uh, source file ok and we disabled the schema drift right let us see what happens so I am just running the pipeline pipeline will not fail why I will tell you little later ok so pipeline has succeeded now uh, let us go to the table and check the count so we should be having 16 uh, records now so let me check it out So 16 uh, so I'll just have a look at the column values just that it will not have total cost column value for the last four set of records see here okay pipeline has executed successfully uh, it will get refreshed soon even though we have disabled the schema drift and uh, after disabling we have made changes to the source file it is not affecting the pipe pipeline execution okay when it will fail is there is a property here in source wherein if you uh, click on validate schema then it will fail okay when it will fail you have a schema selected during pipeline design okay if there is a change happening uh, to the agreed upon structure uh, in future and if you are selecting this option then it is going to fail the pipeline ok so if you want to explicitly make your pipeline fail in case of any changes to the structure you should be coming and selecting this so whenever you are hovering over it, it it is showing something in the bottom should not be selected with allow schema drift right so logically if you are allowing schema drift we cannot validate the schema with, uh, that we agreed upon during design time so that is what they are saying here so case number 2 is also done now so we are importing schema and then disabling drift this is not going to capture the changes to any new additional columns but for any column exclusion it is not going to fail either ok that is what I wanted to cover in this use case so use case 3 and 4 they are quite simple uh, we are not going to import schema in the sense uh, uh, we are not going to import projection in the source as well as in the sync and then we are going to enable drift this will work the same way like this except that we don't know the schema in advance okay if you have to implement something related to or something specific to column names then this option will not be uh, helpful so not much changes here anyway we are uh, uh, just going to do auto mapping right even if it is the case 1 or case 2 or case 3 everywhere it is auto mapping okay um, auto mapping you know as long as uh, source and sync columns are of the same name then mapping is going to work uh, uh, like a charm right so mm, uh, there is nothing much to cover here if you understand the option or use case one then it is as same as that option four is quite interesting if you are not importing schema if you want to disable the schema drift you cannot do it okay either import schema or uh, you should either import schema or you should enable the drift okay that is what we need to understand that is why I have say this option is ruled out this is not possible either import schema or enable schema drift okay so these are the four use cases that we need to understand um, with respect to the schema okay so I hope I made it clear um, if you have any questions with respect to this you can let me know in the comment section I would be happy to answer and if you have any other comments also you are uh, free to post it in the channel okay thanks a lot for watching uh, thanks a lot uh, to all the subscribers for supporting uh, me all through we'll meet in the next video thank you so much